previously on Professor Layton and the Curious Village. Get every computer yourself, newbie weeaboo. <laughs> and now back to more puzzles. Hey, this is Arthur, back with a let's play of Professor Layton and the Curious Village. When we last left off... Luke and Leighton met a, met a mysterious girl with big ol' eyes at a den den, dead end in the north side of the village. I can talk. She starts to tell them something, but a sinister figure lurking in the shadow scares her off. Afterwards, a puzzled Leighton and Luke find a ticket to town, the amusement park, and head there. Surely someone in the town hall should be able to open this place up. Let's ask someone there. Oh, so we have to actually walk there. Cool. We have to walk all the way to the town. Is that one? Nope. <laughs> That's Grandma. Oh, come get my pup. Nope. Bye, Grandma. All right. Will this guy talk to me if I don't do a stupid puzzle? Because it was, I couldn't do it. I don't want to do it. What's that you say? The gate to the park is locked shut? No, 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 that's impossible. We, uh, the, we've employed a caretaker who should have everything up and running. Be that as it may, the gate is locked shut and we can't gain entrance to the place. Would you please open it for us? That sort of thing is the job of the park caretaker who probably doesn't exist. Or is that old man who kidnaps people? I strongly advise you go find him. Well, where do you think we might find the careta caretaker? Not curator. Uh, that's a good question, isn't it? Managing the park is the caretaker's duty. But who manages the caretaker? Can't say. It's not one of my duties. What a bureaucracy! Yo, trying to get paid for a university job? There was so much fucking bureaucracy. Like, not even- like, precursor to bureaucracy. It wasn't even real, like, annoyance bureaucracy. It was just- Ugh. It took me, like, at least a month to figure out how to freaking get paid. I finally did it, so now I have some money coming in. Jeez. <laughs> it was really annoying. I had to, like, go to, like- I had to go to five or so different people, and I lost my fo It was- whatever. He manages the town sewer system as well. Now, unless you have some form you need to fill out, I strongly advise you beat it. Of course she's rude. The sewers, unpleasant as it might be, it is the one place we haven't searched yet. And the place I have no idea where that is. Perhaps we will find a clue to our mystery down there. I have only seen one manhole in town. Oh, right. The one on the path to the... Oh, you're right. Well, it's a dirty job, but someone has to do it. Off we go. Into the sewers. Yay. I'm going to get my top hat all dirty. This is horrible. No! Oh! Oh! It was right there. I missed it. There we go. There we go. Oh, there's a guy in the sewers. Hey, guy in the sewers. <laughs> That's what his face looks like. Is <laughs> Excuse me, are you by chance the park caretaker? Uh... Um, no. I am an explorer of El Mundo. Right now I'm trying to familiarize myself with the local creatures. Oh, um, please pardon my mistake then. Have a pleasant day, sir. Oh, wait, one moment, oh, silver plate. I just saw a man in work clothes pass here. Could he be the caretaker you seek? He could be. Which way did he go? Probably to the right. Better or maybe it was the left. I see. 
Are you feeling right? You seem a bit directionally challenged for being an explorer. Like you ended up in a sewer. I just arrived here years after the world. I just arrived here after years of world travel. Genesis Pada local geography here. That's all. I see. In that case, please forgive me for making another assumption. Now please excuse us as we need to get going. Wait. Which way to the village Agujo? Village you. Donde esta the train station? Man, you're you're talking a lot of languages there, friend. Um, well, sir, you could go up the manhole first of all. All right, so he said right. I'm gonna go to the left. Actually, I'm gonna bet it's this guy again. I'm gonna bet it's just a giant circle. <laughs> sort of liking this music. <laughs> well, don't you look surprised? I bet you didn't expect to see me in a place like this, eh? Oh, you're right, I didn't. The river that encircles most of St. Mister as I pass this pipe. But don't you get any idea? You can't cross it. Give up on those ridiculous notions of returning to the rest of the world and settle down here. I suppose it's a rough transition to make. <laughs> Here's a puzzle to help you get situated. Which box is the move? In preparation for your big move, you've packed your belongings into 20 boxes and arranged them as shown. With everything packed, you are now ready to label each box with its contents. In order to do so, You'll need to move a few boxes around. How many boxes can't be labeled without rearranging the stack? Ugh. All right. Too hard for you, eh? Full shame, I thought you were more clever than that. No, I just got bored of, of, uh... Guessing. Oh, look at their tiny... There's a great view of the entrance to the village from here. There's my lovely little automobile, and it seems unharmed. Don't worry, Professor. No one would even dream of stealing the Leighton Mobile. Mm, just what do you mean by that, Luke? It's a really bad car. 
I certainly didn't foresee sewers leading to a place like this. Look, Luke, there's my automobile. Okay. You and your girlfriend went on a road trip over the weekend. On the way to your destination, you drove 180 mi miles, and your girlfriend drove the rest of the way. Coming home on the exact same road, you'll, your girlfriend drove the first 150 miles, then you got behind the wheel for the last leg of the journey. So what is the difference in miles between the distance you drove and the distance your girlfriend drove? I just plugged in a random number. I had the entire thing be 200 and just did math. Bang up job, Luke. Fossil, Leighton. It is the Helix Fossil. The Helix God. All hail the Helix Fossil. What I find, it makes one reflect upon the planet's long history. And you? Oh, it's an anemonite. It's all swirly on the outside. Leighton appreciates it more. Journal. The Sealed Park. Spur spurred on by the, ac by the Ferris wheel ticket the young girl left behind, Luke and I tried to gain access to the park. But its gates were locked. But its gate was locked shut. Erp. Perhaps that man from Town Hall, Rodney, can help us get the gate open. It seems the only person who can get us into the park is the park caretaker. Now if we could only find the man. Rodney mentioned that the caretaker had the additional duty of looking after the town sewer system. Maybe the caretaker is below ground today. Or above ground over here. Wasn't this where spiky hair Lucifer guy was? Oh. That's the end of the line? I guess he was telling the truth. It was the right. Fine, time to, time to moonwalk back over here. Try this side. Oh, hello, mister. You're new. Ho oh, there. Now, what can I do for you fellas for? You're the park take the pertapa. Hagga habada. You're the park caretaker, are you not? Would you mind opening the gate for the, for to the park for us? Well, how could I refuse two curious lads such as yourself? Z well, I'd like to open up for you, but I've got to finish this repair job before I do anything else. Is there any way, anything we can do to help then? Funny you should mention that. If I could just figure out the area on this map, I'd be done in a jiff. Ugh, area. You any good with things like that? Sure. Ugh. You have to solve this to proceed, I assume. Cillian brought you this diagram to see if you can help him with it. Several circles and squares are pictured in the diagram. How many times larger is the area of the blue square when compared to that of the red square? Uh, fuck if I know. Is it four? There we go. Critical thinking is the key to success. I sort of just measured it with my fingers, and the uh, it looked like half the size of the bigger one. So I gave, <laughs> so I gave one of them as a two by two, and the other as a four by four, and just plugged it in, did the math. That's right. If you rotate the middle square f 
45 degrees as shown in the picture, the answer becomes apparent. Okay. Or you could use your fingers to measure it because they did it to scale. The middle square is half the area of the large blue square. Fine work, the both of you. Soon as I take care of this busted main, I'll open that gate for you. Lovely sound effects. There, that ought to take care of this mess. Now let's open up the park, eh? Got another painting scrap. Just hold on one second here. Yes. Gosh. There we are. The park's yours to explore now. Where we're going to meet our doom or something. Professor, we're in. Thank you. You've been a great help, caretaker. Please, call me Sylvian. Sylvain. Sylvain. <laughs> After, I hardly need thanking, sir. After all, this is my job. After all, this is my job. Way back when, I used to keep it open every day. I used to keep it open every day, but these villagers, they don't care. Oh, he's like Irish or Scottish or something. I don't know if I could do it well. Hey, laddie. Uh, they don't care a witch for me. A witch for me, Park. I can't do it that well. I haven't studied that yet. Well, <laughs> that's next year. I'm doing an accents course next year. I'm glad you fellows stopped by. It's the first time in a while I've had to do me job. Yeah, okay. Into the park. Mm -hmm. This park is really kind of sad, isn't it? It's all rusty and abandoned. It's just as Sylvain said. It seems that no one set foot in this park for a dreadfully long time. Now, on to business. Let's give the grounds around the Ferris wheel once over. I expect we'll find something of interest there. Like a trap. Well, actually, first. A map of the park. It's yellowed with age. A puzzle. Oh, my. <clears throat> what is it, Professor? Oh, or that. <gasps> oh, it's the little girl. She used to be... The cover girl for this? Look at this poster. The picture appears to be the same as the one on the ticket we were we picked up. It looks like it's been posted here for ages. It's so faded you can't even read the letters. Something ing carnival. Whatever. Oh. Hey, isn't that Yes, I thought so. That's the little floor. That's that's little Flora there in the middle of the picture, isn't it? So that girl we met is Flora, cause they look really similar. They both have the big old eyes. She looks exactly as she does in that portrait we saw of her in Reinald Manor. It would seem that Baron Reinald built this amusement park for the sole enjoyment of his daughter. <laughs> what a self-centered father. Strange, I wonder why it wasn't more popular with the village folk once it was open to the public. Well, I don't suppose speculation will help us very much. Let's keep moving. Right you are, Professor. Alright, um, so pretty sure the girl we found is Flora. Although I'm not sure how time-wise that would work out. If, like, it's only been a few years since she disappeared, in which case that would be fine. Or it's been a really long time, in which case that's probably not it. Whatever. Okay. Let's go forward. To the... Oh, oh, okay. This place is so run down, it looks like it hasn't been touched in years. 
What a shame. I bet it used to be a fun place. There's even a big tent like the kind you see in circuses. Yes, there is something quite sad about it, isn't there? How strange. This was clearly a travelling carnival. So why was it left to rot here in St. Mister? I bet the Ferris wheel is a mess too. I suppose I won't get to use that ride ticket we picked up. Well, we have better things to do than ride that thing, don't we? Somewhere in this park lies a clue to finding the golden apple. I'm sure of it. Cool. And more hint coins. It appears that no one's working the shop. No shit. Oh look, oh that looks like a big circus top. No one seems to be inside. Poke the horse. What's it say? Oh, that says nothing. Hint coins, hint coins. Hint. This sounds like a really sad carnival. Which it is a really sad carnival, so you know it works. This must be the ferris wheel we were looking for. Luke, why don't you look around and see if there seems anything odd about it? Sure thing, Professor. Hmm. 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 Did you find anything out of the ordinary, Luke? No, not a thing. Maybe there's no secret hidden in this ferris wheel after all. That remains to be seen. Let's look around a bit more, shall we? Okay, good. I, I didn't want to go into the whatever the next cutscene is without looking around the rest of the park first. Look, Professor. There's a strange little shed here. Interesting. It seems this shed roots water to the sewer pipes. I feel this warrants a closer look. Oh, it's locked. Hmm. It doesn't. It doesn't appear that the door will be will open. Let's move on and explore the rest of the park, Luke. Is that the? Is that the key? That's. Uh, where is it? Mysteries. Look. No. Nope. That's the tower. That's definitely the key to the tower. Let's look at our new journal entries. The park at last. It took a trip into the sewers to do it, but we finally managed, finally succeeded in locating the park caretaker. He was quite pleasant to deal with and consented to open the park for us after we helped him with a small plumbing problem. Now that the gate is finally open, we can set about exploring the town park. Si the silence of the park was so unnatural. It was hard to believe that this was ever a place of recreation. All existing structures are deserted or, in the case of one small shack, bolted shut. If there is useful information to be found here, I don't see it yet. But I believe the ferris wheel wants to look. Cool. And... painting? That looks like it goes here-ish. I think those fit together. Nice. It says, don't throw trash in the lake. I'm getting hate coins out the wazoo. Really, nothing? Another hate coin. Hell yeah. And then Nessie just comes out of this lake. Alright, I think... Yeah, click just about everything. Alright. Back here. Oh! Hey, man. How you doing? Ah, you lads again, eh? How do you like me, Park? Lovely, isn't it? The sun's shining bright today, and I'm in fine spirits. 
Why not celebrate this weather with a puzzle? Let me tell you, let me, let me tell you one of my favorites. Me favorites. Me lucky charms. In a hole. A tennis ball has rolled its way down into a hole. This particular hole is extremely deep and has a sharp bend in the middle, making the ball impossible to retrieve by hand. To make matters worse, the ground around the hole is made of hard clay, so digging the ball out isn't an option. However, you have something incredibly commonplace on your hand that you can use to get the ball out. What do you use to get the ball out? The answer is answer in five letters. All right, I think I know it. Water! Seven. Mm-hmm. Critical thinking is the key. My to success. my other thought was a vacuum, but that wasn't five letters. That's correct. Theoretically you could use any liquid in which tennis ball can float, but water is the liquid you would most likely have handy. Since the ground is hard clay, there's little chance of water getting absorbed by the surrounding earth. The ball should come up with little difficulty. <laughs> You're quite the solver, aren't you? Ah, uh, yes, getting back to me, Park. It hasn't been properly maintained, and parts are just rotting away. If something looks old and broken, do the Samart thing, lads, and stay away from it. Violin! Luke! Pew, 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 pew! Violin! I bet he can play the violin. Luke's just cool like that. He's just the best. I love Luke. <laughs> He's my little buddy. Well, perfect. I'm learning the violin back home. I knew it! I knew he knew violin. What about Leighton? How does Leighton feel? I wonder if a good old thing's... Nope. Luke. <laughs> oh, it actually, like, s there's actually a thing that shows if their happiness is going up. Oh, see? I didn't know that. I never noticed this. No, oh, Leighton likes it better. Okay. I'll have to play around with this off screen, but I didn't know that there was an actual meter down here. I was just going based off... <clears throat> I've always just gone based off of their uh, thingies, their, their dialogue. Look at this, Professor. It was lying on the ground. I bet it's another journal entry. No way! It appears it appears to be a scrap of note paper. Would you read it aloud for me? For the eighteenth time. Sure thing, Professor. I'm not getting tired of this at all. Alright, let's see. The older she gets, the more young Miss is catching on to the villager's secret. She seems lonely, which is probably why the boss asked me to build an amusement park for her. Yep, it certainly looks like I've got my work cut out for me. The young miss mentioned here must be Flora. The whole park was built just for her. But I don't understand this other line. What's all this business about a village in this... A secret in the village? Oh, come on, Luke. You really think this village doesn't have a secret? It's called Professor Layton and the Curious Village. And was, it's called Saint Mystere, for God's sakes. Luke. Luke! For God's sakes, it of course it has a secret. Robots. I just wasn't ready to hand. I just wasn't ready to handle the boss's death. Poor young miss, she's all alone in the world now. But no matter what happens, I have to keep going and take care of her in the boss's place. The page ends there. Burn. Burn. <coughs> Baron Reynolds sounds like he truly loved his daughter more than any more than anything. Fate can be so cruel. Indubitably. Do do do. Oh, there's a puzzle in there. Look, Professor, it's a hidden puzzle. 
No way. The largest total. Nine squares are carved into a piece of wood. Arrange nine unique numbers between one and 51 so that any three numbers have the same sum. Uh, this is I don't know how to it this is um what's it called? This is Sudoku. I I don't know how to play Sudoku. I I've never played Sudoku in my life. And I really don't want to. <laughs> uh Nah, fuck it. Fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. Talk about tough. Alpha knows absolutely nothing about Sudoku. So, you know, fuck that. Um, trash can. Hint coin. Bring us a rock. Another rock. Third rock. Fourth rock. Rock streak. Pew, pew, pew. Uh! Okay, I think that's all, really. So now we can go to the Ferris wheel and get trapped or whatever's gonna happen. So in the end, the ticket that we picked up turned out to be meaningless? So it seems. I suppose my intuition failed us this time, Luke. Come on, let's head back to the heart of St. Stan's such a, for our next sleep. But wait, I didn't get the chance to observe it yet. I just went around. Wait! No, don't cut see me, bro! I didn't get the mm -hmm. chance. Up. What on earth? What the fuck? Oh my god! Oh, this is ridiculous! I love it. Headshot. One shot, one kill. <sighs> Blast. Yeah, had a feeling. Jeez, that was ridiculous. That was amazing. <sighs> oh my god, Professor, I feel like we just got chased by a giant ferris wheel that was totally not being controlled by the dude uh, and 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 we were in a cutscene and I had a voice actor or actress I don't I can't tell really probably actress oh professor professor I almost died why why would the ferris wheel professor look what happened to the shed so I guess there is like um, tech stuff. Because otherwise you couldn't do something like that. Especially since it's a freaking ferris wheel. The ferris wheel must simply have de have simply destroyed it. I if we made a wrong step back there, we'd be in trouble too. Oh god. I want to go home, Professor. This is too dangerous. Oh my. I want my mommy. Hmm. Well, Luke, it seems someone wants us killed. Don't know why they just didn't bring a gun to us, but you know. Ferris wheels are much funnier. I think I found something here, Professor. What could that be? Now, what's an entrance to the sewers doing here? Because it's secret! This could well be an underground passage to the tower. Come on, we've got to take a look below. Come on, come here. I'm right behind you, Professor. All right. Well, before we do that, let's save. Because I feel like something can actually, it's like something bad can actually happen now. Maybe. Close call. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We got hit by a fucking... Ferris wheel. 
Uh, Luke and I searched every crevice of that ferris wheel, but it failed to yield any information about the golden apple, even though I didn't actually search it. But whatever. What's more, it inexplicably broke free from its supports and chased us around the park like some oversized wagon wheel. We were lucky enough to escape with our lives, but the small shack to the north was completely decimated by that runaway wheel. At least now we can see what lies underneath the shack. Could it be an underground tunnel to the tower? We're on pages 6 to 8, so that's pretty, uh... You know, if I had known about the writing the letters thing... Uh, right. Let's go back to where... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Let's go back to where the Ferris wheel was. So I can search things. Because I never looked... Is there anything clickable? Nope. Nothing. Oh, hey, coin! Hell yeah! No hidden puzzle, nothing. You'd think you'd hide something here because people wouldn't think- Hint coin! Think to come back here. Alright, two hint coins. I'm, I'm good. Alright, let's, let's go. Let's go into the underground. I hope I don't trip. This place is pitch black. Ugh, and it's cold too. Watch your step, Luke. Look for anything suspicious or out of place. Okay. There's a spider. Looks like some sort of stone tablet embedded in the wall. I swear to God, if that's a fucking puzzle. It's clearly some kind of fucking puzzle. I'd wager the solution will tell us which one which one to see. God damn it! Which way? The path you are on forks to the left and right in front of the sign seen below. Your gut feeling tells you the sign reveals the direction you need to go. Find an arrow within the picture like the yellow one on the side of the board. When you find it, draw a line around it as neatly as possible. Here. 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 That should do it. That's a freaking arrow. Uh, I suppose. I'm Late and I swear to God, that's it. That's an arrow. That was the exact type of arrow you asked for. God fucking damn it. That's a freaking arrow. I'm embarrassed to admit this puzzle has me stumped. Not to worry, my boy. Take a moment to collect your thoughts. Try again. Oh, I have to do that one to proceed. Cool. Can't proceed unless we solve this puzzle, Luke. Even though it's a fucking bullshit puzzle. There's, I, there's an arrow. There's an arrow right there. Right, the, the one that I did. It's there. So why isn't it accepting it? I looked it up, whatever. I feel really stupid, but whatever. Here it is. Oh, look at that. Oh, isn't it a lovely... Arrow. Even though the other one was also an arrow. I guess it wasn't a good enough arrow. There we go. Another puzzle solved. Didn't want to waste pick rots on that. I guess. Okay. Cool. Now I can go. There's our answer. We will proceed down the left corridor. Understood, Professor. Artisan teapot. Layton. Let's see who likes it. It 
if I like tea, I bet this would be great to have. Now, what could a British gentleman do without a teapot? But his happiness isn't going up any. Whatever. Luke, you don't like tea. Don't like tea. Oh. More puzzles? We just need... This is just a gauntlet of puzzles, isn't it? Look, Professor, there's a strange device on the door there. I wonder if it's a puzzle. Oh my god. We should solve it. It's almost like we're being tested, isn't it? It's like my patience is being tested. Boo! Get the ball out. Oh, these. These just take a while. Wait, okay. Uh, get the red ball out of the maze. Okay. Alright, that that was what was missing. I didn't realize you could put it over the hole. <sighs> I mean, this is the final gauntlet. I need to use my picker outs, alright? Fantastic. Easier than it looks, huh? If you haven't done it yet, why not try to complete... Uh, nah, I'm good. That should do the trick. A missing painting scrap. Alright. Wow, I certainly didn't expect a room down here. Let's give it a thorough once over. Something isn't right about this place. I can feel it in my bones. But first... Let's look at a painting! <laughs> oh! That works. Oh, this is a girl. Well, now I have a couple of different pieces together, at least. That's cool. Alright. Just a milk jug. Ordinary tub. There's some tiny paintings paintings here. Nothing to see here. Ouch, hot hot! Luke, why did you touch it? Dummy. All these drawers are completely empty. Nothing to see here. Just an empty box. Nothing to see here. Then what the hell is so suspicious? The ceiling? This? A empty bottle, I'm afraid. Then what the fuck is so suspicious? The floor? The walls? There's a, surely something here. What a curious face. All the poor flowers in it are wilted. Finally! Oh, so all the other portraits. Something's hidden behind here. Alright, let me move the picture out of the way. It's at the key to the tower. It's the key to the tower. It appears to be some sort of key. But what does it unlock? We won't know unless till we investigate further. But this shape certainly looks familiar. Professor, could this be? It looks just like the tower. I knew there was something odd about that dead end. Perhaps this key will shed some light on things. Luke, we need to head back to that large wall on the north side of St. Mister. I have a hunch it's more than a dead end. 
tower key was added to your list of mysteries. The final mystery. The final mystery. The abandoned park. Chapter solved! All right, I'm going to leave it here. And when you come back, I'll already be at the dead end. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe, and leave a comment because your words mean so much to me. And as always, guys, have an awesome day.